Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this custom list for your website. So this is basically an unordered list tag in HTML. And we have basically modified the look of the numbering and uh, this is how it looks right now. And for each of the list items, we have this hover effect. So we can see when you hover over this, uh, we have some changes in the design. Now, since this is an ordered list inside HTML, you can go ahead and delete any of these steps from here and the numbering will adjust automatically. So if you add one more list item over here, then it will have the numbering six over here. Now to make this work, we are using a concept called counter in CSS. So we'll briefly learn about that as well. So let's get started. All right, so I have created a new project and uh, it's a blank project. And I have opened it inside this uh, code editor called Visual Studio Code. So let's go ahead and create an HTML file. So let's click on this new file icon. And I'll just name this file index.html. And we'll create one more file for the CSS. So I'll just type style.css. And uh, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, we have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this uh, boilerplate code for HTML. Let's also link the style.css file over here. So I'll just type link and uh, in the href, I'll just type style.css. We are also going to use this font called Roboto. So let's add that font over here. So here I'm in Google Fonts. Let's go ahead and click on this font called Roboto. And uh, we're going to use two styles from here, the regular one, so let's click on select this style and also the bold version and I'll just copy this link from here and we'll paste it over here inside the head section of our HTML. All right now we'll be able to use this font in our website. So let's start by creating a container division. So we'll create a division with a class of custom order list or OL and first we need to have a heading. So I'll just type H2 and uh, I'll just type steps to design a website. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension installed called live server. So using that, I can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And we can see that the web page is being shown in our browser. Now whenever we make any changes over here and uh, save it, it will be automatically refreshed in the browser. So it will save you a lot of time. All right, so now let's create an ordered list. So I'll just type OL and press tab. And in the OL, we need to have the list items. So I'll just type LI, press tab. And uh, let's add the list items over here. So the first one is the planning phase. I'll just copy this and uh, paste it over here. Now here we can see the text is being displayed over here. But on the left, we can see that it has automatically added this numbering. So for the first one, we have number one. Let's duplicate this. And uh, the second one is create the wireframe. And now we can see that we have one and two. So whenever you add any new list item over here, it will add a new number. So we don't need to worry about the numbering. It will all be automatically done for you. We just need to add these list items. All right, so now let me add all the other list items. Here we have design it. Then we have write the code and publish the website. All right, so now here you can see we have all these five list items displayed over here. And uh, now let's go ahead and start styling this. We are done with the HTML. So let's go to style.css and uh, let's start with the custom OL division that we have over here. So we have this container division with a class of custom OL. Let's target that over here. So I'll just type dot custom OL and uh, let's add a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And uh, let's add a box shadow and uh, I'll just type 0, 4 pixels, 16 pixels, negative 3 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and uh, 
0.25 all right now let's add a maximum width to this custom oil so i'll just type max width of 500 pixels and let's also bring it to the center so i'll just type margin zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right in fact let's add a margin of 24 pixels for top and bottom so that even if you have other elements on the page it will be separated from them so let's add a border radius and uh, we'll add a border radius of 10 pixels so we have these rounded corners over here now let's set the font family to roboto and uh, sans serif and uh, let's set the color of the text to 073b4c right now let's style this heading so for the heading we will just give a font size of 28 pixels right now let's target this ordered list so we'll type custom ol ol and uh, we just remove the margin and the padding and let's set a margin top of 32 pixels now the next thing we have to do is we have to remove these default numbers from here and we will add our own custom designed numbers over here but the numbering and everything will work all right there will be no issues with that so for that let's go ahead and type list style and set it to none so now we have removed the numbering from here now the next thing you have to do is add a counter so first of all here we will type counter reset and uh, we'll just name the counter to web design you can name these anything you want this counter will be reset to zero and uh, it will have this name called web design now we'll be able to use this web design counter anywhere in our css so first of all let's go ahead and uh, style the list items and uh, then we'll add the numbering so custom ol ol li and let's add a margin of 28 pixels for top and bottom zero for left and right and uh, we'll set the font size to 18 pixels now we need to add some more styles over here but before that let's add the numbering and uh, after that we will add the remaining styles for the list items so let's type custom ol ol li now we'll be using a pseudo element called before in css for the numbering so let's type li colon colon before now let me show you how before works so you have to add a content so for example if i type hello we can see that in front of every list item we have this text hello displayed over here so whatever content you have over here will be displayed before the item over here now there's one more pseudo element called after so if you add after over here then the text or whatever you add over here will be displayed after this list item so we don't want to display hello over here so let's remove that and we want to display the counter so we'll type counter and we have to add the name of the counter over here so we have set the name to web design so let's add web dash design over here and we can see that 000 is being displayed over here everywhere now we need to increment the counter so let's go ahead and type counter dash increment and I will just name the counter over here so I'll just type web design now we can see our counter is being displayed we have one two three four five displayed over here so our counter is working all right now if you remove anything from here or add any list item the numbering will automatically be updated so let me just duplicate this and here you can see we have the sixth list item right so our counter is working all right now let's style these numbers so first of all we will add a margin right to move the text away from the number so we'll just add a margin right of 24 pixels and uh, let's set the font size to 32 pixels and we'll set the font weight to bold now let's set a background color of 0081a7 and uh, let's set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right and let's set a border radius now for the border radius uh, we need to have border radius over here on the bottom left and here on the top right so for that you have to type 0 for top left 8 pixels for top right 0 for bottom right and 8 pixels for bottom left 
Now let's change the color of the text. So we'll change it to light gray. All right now let's style the hover for the list item. So when we hover over this, uh, we need to have a different color. So we have this different background color over here. And we also need to rotate and scale this up a little bit. So let's go ahead and add a background color over here. So we'll just type custom OL, OL LI, colon hover. And we'll set the background color to FFD166. And uh, let's also add a transition for smooth animation. And here we can see that our text is not displayed in the center. So for that, we will just go ahead and change this to display of flex. And uh, we will set align items to center. And now we can see that our text is centered correctly. Now let's also rotate and scale these uh, numbers up a little bit. So here we will type custom ol ol li colon hover colon colon before. So we'll be adding the hover effect for the before. Now we need to change the background color of this and uh, we'll change it to 073 before C. And we also need to rotate and scale it up a little bit. So we'll just type transform and we'll type scale and we'll set it to 1.2 of the original size and we'll type rotate and we'll rotate it to negative five degrees. Now let's hover over this and see whether it works. And we also need to add a transition for smooth animation. So here we'll type transition all of 400 milliseconds. All right now let's test it out. And everything is working all right. We don't have any problems. So that's basically it for this video. This is how you create a custom order list for your website. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.